Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well. Today I'm kicking off my organisation week of videos with organising our fridge and I'm also going to be organising one of the kitchen cupboards in this video as well. So I have done one other fridge organisation video that I will link down below. That was in our previous fridge in our old home but today I wanted to transform this fridge and just give it a bit of a makeover. I already did a deep clean of this fridge before Christmas, that was in my Christmas prep video that I'll also have linked down below. So I think first I'm going to take everything out and I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down and then we'll get to organising, I'll show you guys what I picked up and things like that. Okay, let me show you what I'm going to use in the fridge to store everything. So I have a mix of glass containers with the bamboo lids. These are all from Ikea, they come in a bunch of different sizes. And I also have some that my parents bought Ben and I for Christmas. They are slightly smaller, some of them, and some of them are very similar to this style, and they're from HomeSense. I may use a couple of them in the fridge, but I'm unsure at the moment. Then these here are from HomeBase. Now I have bought so many of these since we moved into this house. They are wonderful organisation containers. I believe they may come in one slightly bigger size, but I've been tending to use this size and then this size around the house. They are BPA free as well, which I love and they're super affordable. I've just remembered there is a tiny one that's like half the size of this, a tiny container that you can get, which I have stored in my bedside cabinet, perfect for a smaller size drawer. As well as this, you can get the lids, and the lids also serve as a storage tray as well. So you can stack these like this, or you could just put something on top. So you could stack then there could be another lid on top. But they are really wonderful and they do do these in a white if you didn't want the clear acrylic. Then the last thing I have is these nets. These are everywhere. I've seen them so many places now. They tend to stop them in all the supermarkets. But I first saw these in Sainsbury's and they're for your fruit and veg. I think the idea is you bring these along with you when you're getting your fruit and veg so you're not using the plastic bags there. I don't even know if they do the plastic bag. A lot of the fruit and veg does come packaged already in the plastic, which I'm trying to avoid as much as I can. Ben and I have been shopping at the farmer's market a bit more just so we can get fresher fruit and veg that's unpackaged. And you know what? It's not that much more expensive than buying it at the supermarket. But some stuff you just can't avoid the packaging. So when it comes home, I just put it all straight in these net bags or the glass containers. These I think are about 30p each. I just picked up a couple more as well and you can wash them. What I've done also is draw out a little diagram. I don't know if you can see that. So this is just the diagram of our fridge with the two main containers at the bottom and then the shelves. And I did go on Pinterest and see which was the best way to store everything that you do keep in the fridge. 
i.e. is it better to keep the meat on the bottom and the eggs on the top and things like that. So I will link my Pinterest board. I have a whole one dedicated to decluttering, cleaning and organisation. So let's get right into doing some organising with what we've got. Then I will most probably film another clip when we've bought all of our food just so you can see how it's all stored and organised. cupboard I'm going to be organising. Now it is fairly organised because I have been collecting containers that I want to put in this cupboard. However, I just want to tidy up this cupboard a bit more and I have bought a couple more containers for the top. I also just need two more for there. First of all, I'm going to clear everything out, give it a good wipe down and then I'll go through what I'm going to store in here and how I've been organising it. For this cupboard, again, I've just drawn a diagram of where I want everything to go and a couple of measurements so I can take this with me. I think I've pretty much got this figured out with regards to storage, but I will be, as I'm doing with the fridge, sharing this cupboard with you guys once it's fully stocked. First off, I have these small containers. These are the ones that I use in the fridge from Homebase. As I mentioned, they are BPA free. Free. and they also have a 10 year guarantee and I love the size of these because they fit in the top two shelves perfectly so I've managed to fit four in each then for the bottom shelf I did move these shelves around by the way they weren't always like this I moved them around on purpose so I could fit on the bottom shelf these containers so these are from Ikea, they are the biggest I think that they do and I love these for cereal and protein powder and things like that. So I have five of these. Then in this space here I saw these really lovely glass and bamboo round jars from Sainsbury's. This is the larger, shorter size and they do do a taller one as well. So I have two of these tall ones. In these I'm going to store spirulina powder and also collagen powder and then four of these smaller ones. And then the four smaller ones I have things for making my own muesli. So some flaked almonds, raisins, mixed seeds, and this one has chia seeds in. It's a couple of days later now and we have fully stocked the fridge again. So I wanted to share with you how I fully organized it now. I also purchased a couple more of those storage units from Home Bay. This is it in its full glory. Hopefully you can see this properly but I am going to do a couple of close-ups to show you what I'm storing on which shelf. Starting in the door compartment up the top this is just one of these leftover Poundland storage containers 
they came in a pack together. In here is just a couple of sheet masks, so totally unrelated to food. Then in this one, I have some parsley in this bag and then some lettuce. These didn't fit in the main part of the fridge, so I just thought I would put them in these bags here. These bags are off Amazon. I can't at the moment find these exact ones, but I will link some very similar ones. Then down in the bottom bit, we just have milk. There's some whipped cream that Sully really likes as a treat sometimes. And then there's just a bit of chocolate in this bit here this bit is attached in the main part of the fridge up the top here this would be mainly for leftovers but at the moment these are just bits that i can't fit in the other two trays so right at the back here is some salad in one of those ikea containers i was talking about and then in this one here this is one of the containers from HomeSense. Like I said at the beginning, they're exactly the same as the ones from Ikea. So this has just got some celery in that I'm gonna juice. Right at the back in the middle is a smaller one of these containers, again from HomeSense. This has meat in. And then this HomeSense glass container just has some lime and lemon. In here is some fish. This is one of the Poundland storage containers again. Moving down to the middle shelf, I purchased two more of these containers from HomeBase. And I've just, I was gonna put lids on all of them, but I found that because of the size of this fridge, not everything can fit on top. So that was the idea, that's why I wanted the lids so I could store stuff on top. But this is the only one where I can. So on the top of here, I have the eggs, and then in here is some Greek yogurt and some olives. This one, these are why I love these containers because you can just pull them out really easily. This one has butter and cheeses. On this bottom shelf in this storage unit is meat in some of those bags again that I got off Amazon. Here I have berries in these two containers. These are the ones from Ikea. And at the back here I have another Ikea glass container with spinach in. In the drawer section of the fridge you would have seen I sorted this drawer out and put all of our condiments. I organised them all into two separate little home base containers. Then this one here here is just full of vegetables and most of the things are either stored in the little bags from Amazon or the net ones from Saints. Finally, I just wanted to show you this cupboard again as well. It's not fully stocked, but I just thought I'd show you that I picked up two more of the small containers from home base for up the top. And this top shelf is generally going to be for sort of naughty treats and snacks. The only thing I've got up there at the moment is just some bars that Ben likes. Then in this middle shelf here, this is all healthy snacking. So there's nothing in this one, but this one has some squares of dark chocolate that I've broken up and put in one of those bags from Amazon. This one here has all different kinds of nuts to snack on again in those bags and then the ends one has mini packs of raisins and then some more snacking nuts on the bottom shelf nothing really has changed the only thing I've added is just some granola in this one so the idea is with this shelf is that everything is to do with like breakfast and making breakfast so in this one I have protein powder, the next one along is projects, then we have some of Ben's favourite like treat cereal, this one has granola in and then the last one I'm going to fill with my treat cereal. 
Then in here I went through all of these, so we've just got raisins, flaked almonds, mixed seeds and chia seeds. And at the back, I haven't filled these yet because I'm about to make an order on Amazon for the powders. But these two containers, I've just zoomed in a bit so you can see, but these two are going to be for collagen powder and also spirulina. And that is it guys for my first organisation video. I really hope you found this helpful. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did. And let me know in the comments down below if there's any other specific areas you want me to cover with regards to organisation and storage. I definitely have a lot more organising to do in this house. But hopefully over the next couple of days you'll get some inspiration anyway. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community. And I will see you tomorrow for my next storage and organisation video. Take care guys. Bye.